Uh, good morning. And this is an interview with Carmel, who's just popped into the studio to say hello to Karen McCarthy, who she's been tweeting, I think, regularly on Carmel Harrington. Um, what have you been tweeting Carmel, Karen about? Hi, Rose. Um, well, I was here um, a couple of months ago, actually, with Norman, and I had a chat about um, a book deal that I had just secured with HarperCollins. And since then, my book has been published, um, Beyond Grace's Rainbow. And I've just become friends with the whole gang here. And so we have the odd tweet. I retweet them. They retweet me. So I promised Karen if I was in Tremor, I'd pop in to say hello. And I was meeting um, Tanya Farrell of After the Final Chapters. She's a book reviewer here in Ireland. And I was meeting her for lunch today. And I couldn't kind of pass by your door without popping in because I had promised to do so. So, Well, you're very welcome. And um, it... Tanya, of course, is also here. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Rose. How are you? So you had lunch with Carmel over in... I did, over in the V across the road. But um, it's crazy in here at the moment because we have three lads um, studying uh, the radio. You're students of radio at the moment, aren't you? Sort of. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. modules. Yeah. yeah. So um, they've kindly vacated the chair here for uh, us to do this interview. It's all Matt here and... TCR FM, you don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. But back to Carmel. So you have your book. It's out and all on the shelves, is it? It is, yeah. It's out on the shelves now. Um, it's called Beyond Grace's Rainbow. And um, yeah, it's doing quite nice. Um, since I last was um, here with you guys, um, it's won a couple of awards, actually. Um, it won Best Romantic um, ebook of 2013 last um, November in the UK at a book awards over there. And then on New Year's Eve, I found out that it won Kindle Book of the Year. So it was very exciting. It was was pretty exciting. It was a good excuse to have one or two bottles of (laughs) Prosecco, maybe. (laughs) We celebrated really well that night. Um, How do you feel about, how does it feel to be that successful? Well, do you know what? It's a bit surreal because it's happened kind of quickly. In the last six months, you know, I've signed the book deal. The book is now out. And now it's in paperback and on the shelves. And um, I suppose it's it's cliche, but it's true. It is a dream come true. It was something I've always wanted to do was right. And now I'm doing exactly that. So it's great. Every day is just a lot of fun. I smile a lot. Like It's good fun. Don't mind her. She works her backside off from morning to night. I do work hard. She I does. do work hard. Yeah. <laughs> I do work. Yeah. Did you re- review the book? I did. I read the book at the end of August 2012. Mm. I did and I loved it and I spoke about it to everybody who would listen and then Carmel actually said to me you need to start reviewing books because all my friends would ask me what will I read, what will I read so today, one year ago I started after the final com, and I started with a review of Beyond Grace's Rainbow and an interview with Carmel and the rest as they say is history it just took off from there So you're, you're sorry, you're fine. I'm tongue tied at the moment you're re- reviewing books all over the place, right? I do. I get um, I get books sent to me from Penguin, from Harper Collins, um, just from all. The postman just keeps coming with parcels of books. I say he loves me at this stage now, um, and if I like the look of the book, I review it. If I don't, I won't. Um, I don't give bad reviews because just because I like it, I'm not going to put someone else off the book. Um, but yeah, they're just they come in email. They come from the postman. They just come from everywhere. And she's done books for New York Times bestsellers, you know, like some fairly, I can always say I was her first. Yes. But, and Tanya, the thing is that it was really special for me is that Tanya reviewed my book before I had a book deal. I had self-published and um, when you self-publish, not everybody wants to talk to you. You get a lot of people who kind yeah, of take two think, steps oh, backward yeah. when they see you coming because they think, oh God, yeah, this is a mad just, woman yeah. writing her own book. So, but Tanya kind of, <laughs> she read my talk book. talked to anybody. She talked to anyone, yeah. <laughs> yeah she's for, for, um. A ghost cheese sandwich, she'll do anything, you know. So, yeah, yeah, so she read the book and thankfully liked it and reviewed it. And getting that first book review was a big, big help for me. It was something that really kind of, it gave me something to talk about on Twitter and Facebook and then hopefully um, get noticed ultimately, which I did by a publisher and get that book deal. So it was so the starting uh, really point I get all the credit she, she does. wrote the book she but does. I get all the credit so you're good friends since <laughs> we, we are, are. <laughs> great friends <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like it sounds like a good um, relationship you know that formed from re- one book yeah we were acquaintances before I read Beyond Grace Rainbow but definitely I think that cemented or started she stuck them in it 
Have yeah. you another book coming up? Yeah, I've written the second one. I, I got a two book deal with HarperCollins. So the second book is called Sleep of Dreams and will be published in June of this year. Um, so out just in time, hopefully for people when they go on holidays to put in their handbags and bring with them. Um, but I don't have an exact date in June, but it will be out in June of this year. It must be huge to have a publisher actually take on your book. It is like it really is. I suppose it's the ultimate dream because, you know, when you've written a book and put it out there, um, you hope, first of all, that you connect with readers and that they like what you've written. And it's kind of scary to do that, you know. Um, it's I, funny I, because when I met Carmel, she had um, or when we became friends, she'd already wrote the book and she'd self-published. But then it was the journey to find an agent. And I was I think I was less patient than she was. You were, yeah. And then she found the agent and it was like the biggest thing ever. And then it was to find a publisher and it just keeps just keeps growing. I'm just waiting for someone to buy the movie rights. Yeah. And I, I always say that, like, I am available, you know, <laughs> CarmelHarrington.com, you can find me. And um, I can think of um, no better movie than <laughs> Beyond well, Grace's Rainbow. It would be great. And these three lads in here in the studio, you never know what they might be doing by the time. You never know. Listen, there could be a Colin Farrell in the making here, you know. This is it. You never know. But, um, oh God, yeah, that would be nice. Um, It's been said quite a few times, actually, that it would be a nice story for a movie and um, that would be, you know, mad stuff. (laughs) It's got Hollywood blockbuster written all over it and anyone that has read it will know why. Um, Can't really go into it because I'm not going to spoil it. Go buy it. It's in the book centre in Waterford, actually. Um, I can plug her. (laughs) It's not shameless if I do it. I'm just going to bring her with me everywhere I go, actually. (laughs) You can can come with me. We'll have to adopt you. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. She can be the publicist for sure. Yeah, yeah. I can okay. talk for anyone. <laughs> right. Thanks very much for dropping in. I know you're in a rush to head off. Um, you were on story time with Norm Gra- Graham um, a couple of times, I think. Yeah, I mean, it was it was lovely. I had a lovely chat with him. Um, we had a really nice talk just about everything and anything. We just kind of waffled on about books. And um, Norman I'm loves always, books. Too, yeah, yeah, me too. I'm always happy. I read a lot as well as um, obviously writing. So I'm more than happy to do that. But um, must, hello, Norman. And hello, Darabla. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to be in here again. Okay, Thanks well, you know, the doors, they're always there, pop in and you don't, never know what's going to happen the next time you, you pop never in. Know. Well, I'll pop in um, certainly when um, Sleep of Dreams is out in June. I'll Do. make sure that when I... Well, go back to Norman and say it's Norman well would be well delighted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hopefully, hopefully. God, it's nerve-wracking. The second one is nearly worse than the first because because the first one has done well, you're kind of thinking, oh God, now if the second one is pants... <laughs> and they're, kind of, they're completely different. <laughs> yeah, they're very completely different. Completely different, but I think it's possible now that the second book is better than the first High and Grace. I'd be beyond Grace for yeah. the biggest fan but I think the second is better okay and because I've read it <laughs> <laughs> okay and you're teasing us now aren't she, you? Is, yeah. she is she is you're really really <laughs> making us want to go out and buy the book how about you lads <laughs> Are you, would you read books like that buy it for mummy um, I, my, my boy from my girlfriend she'd be into something like that I think yeah, yeah it is it's, it's certainly there has been some guys who've read it um it's certainly women's fiction, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, there has been a couple of guys have re- have reviewed it even for me and, and have read it because I think more the the content, some of the themes in it are, um, you, if you relate to them, because it deals with adoption and um, alcoholism. I know this sounds very depressing and cancer, but there is a lot of laughter in it too. <laughs> Apart from all those really serious topics, there is a few giggles. Um, but um, I know that some people have read it who have actually had those situations in their lives and as a result they connected with it and I think Kevin Kevin is a male who's a reviewer and he's read it and he'd be Kevin would be one of the top the top reviewers now if you wanted your book to get out there he would read it and he he adored it yeah he's he's great I heart chicklet is this book reviewer his name is Kevin as um, Tanya says and um he read it and he included it in his top five best reads of 2013. Um, so, yeah, he, he's a strong supporter. He he thought the characters were good. but And my husband read it, bless him. <laughs> yeah, he had no choice but to read it. So, yeah, so three three more guys here. You're going to read it now. going to be three more men for me to read the book. <laughs> and, yeah, and then I want to review on Amazon and you can tell the world, I'm a man and I read it. It's not just for girls. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, let's have the Kleenex ready. Okay. Well, this was an impromptu interview. It was for really off the no cuff. We're just prepare. sitting in the kitchen one moment, having, about to have a cup of tea, and then we, here we landed here on these three lads who are trying to figure out how to work the desk. And one of them is kindly doing it from working it. So thanks again, Carmel, for coming in. That's oh, my pleasure. Always a pleasure. And Tanya, it was lovely to um, hear your book review. Yes. <laughs> 
It's lovely and to be ho- in here, actually. And hopefully you'll both come back again, yeah. especially when your new book is out. And thanks, lads. And we'll thanks, lads. depart now and leave you back to you. whatever you're doing. OK, thank you. Thanks.